Welcome Taurus, we're going to be looking at what it is you need guidance with right now using the Lover's Oracle. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a love reading, but if it turns out to be such, it is what it is. Okay, so Mystical Wisdom card deck is what we'll also be using along with the Lightseer's Tarot. Okay, Taurus, let's get into it, eh? Three cards, three cards for Taurus. From the Lover's Oracle, please. Three cards for Taurus. One. Two. A bit more sitting right, so they're easier to hold. Oh, I don't think so. Didn't like the way that came out. One more card for Taurus, please. If these don't resonate for you, check out your other... Um, placements in your birth chart okay so oh this one was first sorry okay so here we go Taurus this is the first card out and it is a message for you I am thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light I love you Oh, that's nice. So that could be from somebody. Could also be from source. This could also be, Taurus, what you need to give to yourself. Okay, interesting. Okay, so the next card here is, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Yes, that's right, Taurus. And also, um, this could be, some of you could be at a distance from someone else as well. Okay, and now oh, we have this beautiful card, Sacred Union. Honour and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Okay, oh, you know what, Taurus? Some of you may not have met this person yet, but you can feel them. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so two cards for a message for you, for Taurus, please. Tell me more about this. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. That's beautiful. One more card for a message for you, for Taurus, please. That one's upside down. I don't know what it is. I've never used these cards before, by the way, except for the Light Seas Tarot. So I love seeing what, what um, messages I'll get from them. There it is. Okay. The Owl. Follow your intuition. Yeah. See, this is the thing. Like, I just kind of wonder if some of you haven't connected with this person yet. But it's coming and, and potentially you can feel it or they are in your life but it hasn't quite eventuated into something that's a relationship maybe um yeah interesting the owl this is your intuition but this is also about yet yeah, it's really is letting it take the lead and um rule the way like guide the way rather than coming into your head and thinking about it or overthinking, um, letting that inner wisdom take you to where you need to be. You know, and it could be as simple as this, Taurus. It could be walking down the street and feeling like you want to go into a particular area or a shop or whatever, and you don't know why. It's not even a shop you would go into, but you feel pulled. Go with it, okay? So, owl. Or you might want to visit somewhere and you're not sure why, but it's a really strong pull. Two cards for owl for Taurus, please. Two cards for owl. Follow your intuition. Tell me more about this, please. One. It's page of pentacles yeah this is this i feel like is you learning to um we are actually investing your energy right um we also have the full here as well so um 
for some of you I feel like maybe there's a you're a little bit closed off and you don't quite trust that intuition um, because you may have felt it's mis misled you in the past but there's a difference between knowing and just wondering right uh, so you you will have had those experiences before and when you know you know right so in that regard it is important for you to follow the direction that you are being pulled in and that that knowing is um, directing you in, okay? Because this is the creation of your life um, when you follow that, okay, Taurus? So next card here is children. I don't know why I got Aries just then. Did I just call you Aries? I don't think I did. I've infused these cards with you, Taurus, but that's interesting. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries, or you could have Aries placements in your chart. So if you do, go and have a look at that video. Okay, so children, know that your children are protected. Oh, I love that the tiger is there. I love that. Look at that. So beautiful, right? And, you know, if, if this could be a message from your children. For some of you, this could be a message from a child who has passed over. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. And maybe your child's at a dis distance, you know. But they are protected. I love that. Two cards for the children, for Taurus, please. Wow. There you go. Look at this. Beautiful. Yeah, see, they are protected. You can't see the protection. You may not know it's there, but it is there. It is in the stars. It comes from above. It comes from the light, the source, right? They are protected you also, Taurus, are protected as well, okay? Even if you don't have much contact with them. But this also, again, is about the intuition. So if you feel like your child needs you, act on it, okay? Um, if you just have that gut feeling, um, then, you know, don't ignore that, all right? So here we are. This could also be about children who haven't come through for some of you yet. So be aware of that. Potentially even grandchildren. Okay, so. I love this here. This person's wrapped up in these angel wings. Look at that, so beautiful. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself. And that's just it, you know, maybe the thing is, Taurus, that you feel guilty about spending time on yourself rather than putting it all into your children. But at the end of the day, in order to give your children what they need, you need to be giving to yourself first, okay? So two cards for this card for Taurus, please. Tell me more about this for Taurus. Oh, yep, that one came out dancing. One more card for this card for Taurus, please. There's no title on this card, so. One more card for Taurus. This. Right, this is the one. What is this? Nice. Okay, so the first card here we have is friendship. Nurture your friendships. Yes, your relationships, sorry. Um, yeah, that's so true. And this is one way to give to yourself, right? To get together with your friends Come and let them let them nurture you, right? You can nurture them too. It's a, it's a give and take, you know. We feed off one another. We 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 have this exchange of energy, which is absolutely beautiful. So definitely, friendship, friendship for Taurus. Yes, there's the first card. There's the second. Okay. Oh, I love this. Oh, four of swords. Yeah. See here again, right? It's the same. Taking the time to be nurtured, taking the time to heal, taking the time to rest. Yeah, Taurus. Taking that time for you, 100%. Taking that 
taking time to heal your heart getting those people who are around you who you know some of you may very well have been closing yourself off from everybody because you know you you've gone into this state of um darkness so it's time to allow people in to let them help you okay you don't always have to be strong you don't always have to be handling it all on your own it's okay to ask for help all right the empress yeah because here's the thing there's something new coming for you there's something that needs to be growing and i love how the world here is as though it's a, a pregnant belly on a, on a woman right when we're talking about children here you know but this is about you creating your world how do you want to create that what is it that you want to birth in your life you know anything anything that you do in your life anything that you create Anything that you um, give birth to in a sense of beginning something new is a creation of yours, which can ultimately be seen as a child, your baby. You know, you could have a project that you're doing that's your baby, you know. Um, so expand your thinking when you listen to these readings and how this might apply in your life, okay. Um, so the next card we have here is Archangel Gabriel messenger of creativity and hope yes look at this and look at all these children around here i love this this is beautiful yeah call on archangel um gabrielle you know so that you can and and this is the thing while you're doing this while you're taking some time for yourself get archangel gabrielle to come in and help you help protect these children help protect this baby this project whatever it is right one more card for archangel gabrielle please yeah i feel like actually it could be that you come some of you need to call on your friends to help look after your kids while you take this time for yourself right um to yeah to get the 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 help that you need yeah um because yeah i feel like there's a little bit of a um a battle in your mind going on right now um some of you may have lost someone very dear to you it may not even have been a child it could have even been a parent or a pet um someone very dear to you anyway and it doesn't have to be necessarily through death it could be that you know there's been a breakup or even lost a friend you know but here's the thing Taurus is that when sometimes we get stuck in our head about things and we go over and over it and over it and we end up breaking our heart over and over and over again so now it is time for you to call on Archangel Gabrielle to see what it is that you can be creative with and, and to give yourself this hope of moving forward and birthing something new into your life, okay? Um, the last card here is Sacred Union. Honour and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And this is the relationship first and foremost that we have with ourselves, okay? And whoever it is, that this reading applies to for you. All right, so two cards for sacred union for Taurus, please. Don't like that, just fell out. Okay, so two cards, sacred union. There it is. There it is. Okay, nice. First card here we have is resilience. Rise above tribulations. Wow, this is so cool. Look at this. Look at her just jumping off that staircase there like, you know, she's got this. Like it's no problem. And this is the thing, I think, you know, um, understanding the bigger picture. You know, really tapping into that, um, that knowing within ourselves. You know, that there is a bit bigger um, picture at hand here. And we may think that, you know, this is the thing. This is when we get wrapped into this um, this thinking um, that we 
go over and over and over things in our minds, we lose sight of what that, what that bigger picture could be or, you know, that even the feeling of it and that trust in, um, you know, in destiny, in, you know, um, we, we don't see the synchronicities, we miss out on the signs, you know, because we're too busy wrapping ourselves up in this. Okay, um, but it's time to take the blindfold off now and it's time to take the ropes off because you've been through quite a journey which has been very, very rough, uh, which is a complete understatement, let's face it. Um, but yeah, it is time to rise above because you have, you have the strength to do this. And sometimes it may not feel like it, but I feel like it's kind of like you're on the last step and it's just feels sometimes it's the hardest and then you feel heavy and like oh my gosh and yeah so um you know yeah two cards for resilience for Taurus please a third of the deck went to pop out then <laughs> it's like not that many <laughs> okay I can't imagine how long the video would be <laughs> Do I take these two? Yes, I do. Okay. Two cards have come out here. We've got the King of Swords and we've got Temperance here. Okay, this is about you communicating what it is that you need. Okay. Um, and communicating, I suppose, in a sense, like communicating with the universe, right? Like um, kind of making it clear, really, 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 sussing out what it is that you really want, what you would like to birth, what you want that to look like, and communicating that clearly to manifest what it is that you want, okay? And um, and to be patient with yourself, to be patient with that manifestation, to know that these things take time, to know that you need to gradually build yourself up into a certain vibration in order for that to come in. So this is, this is step by step by step here, Taurus, to make sure that you are um, able to rise above all the tribulations and make happen for you what it is that you want in your life. Okay, not what everyone else might want or not what will suit the children or whatever. It's about you. Okay, unicorn is the next card here invite serendipity that's so funny because I was trying to think of this word before when I was talking about synchronicities and everything and I was like I know there's another word what is it and it, I didn't need to because it was already here awesome I love that I love 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 it and this is the thing when something is meant to be this sacred union here look at this as a representation of the sacred union how beautiful right the serendipity here invite it in you know, because when you're closed off and um, and in this space, you're not open to this coming in. And this is the thing. It's like you want it to come in, but then there's this going on as well. It's like, why isn't it coming in? I thought it would be here by now. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, so this is very important for you. So two cards for Unicorn for Taurus, please. Two cards for Unicorn for Taurus. The one. That's how we like it. There it is. Okay. Great. Chariot. Yep. Communication here. Communication coming in extremely fast. And when we've got this message for you here, right? Um, this this whatever it, like once you've got this sorted here, Taurus, it's going to happen. And it's gonna happen fast. Okay, you're gonna be on that road galloping along, man, and it's gonna be like the speed of lightning. So um, you know, this is really you clearing that space for this to come in, okay, um, because it's right there, it is right there, and I'm fairly sure you feel it, um, it's just staying in that, um, that energy, okay, so then there's no break in the line of communication, because the energy is communication, right, the energy is what is communicating here, and so when you're in the space here and get tied up in that, 
the lines of that energetic communication become broken and it's like oh where did it go and then it's got to reconnect again okay so it's a matter of staying there Taurus okay I hope that helps you and please please take care of your beautiful selves all right because you totally deserve it okay Taurus see you bye bye